So what do we got here? This is my 1602 Shipwreck Dutch East India Company Bell. I just love old shipwreck items. You can just imagine the journey they've been on. This ain't right. I don't think this thing was in the salt water for any period of time to mount to anything. Let's get somebody to look at it before we go any farther. Fair enough. Rick, how you doing? I'm good to see good. you, man. Here's the bell. What's your concerns on this? I don't think this bell was submerged in salt water. If it was, it would be in a lot worse shape than it is now. Well, you're right. 90% of all shipwrecks are in shallow water. In fact, most of them are sticking up. You know, they hit yeah. the reef and they pretty much stay there. The bell's genuine. I think this could be put into one of the treasure auction catalogs, and they'd probably go somewhere $15,000, give or take. I'm moving. This is going to pay all my moving expenses and maybe even get me a big screen TV. How you doing? So what do you got? I have a clump of rupees that were minted in 1702 by the son of the man who built the Taj Mahal. They were minted in Surat, India. They went to the bottom of the ocean in 1702 and were recovered by Arthur C. Clarke and his dive partner. Didn't he write a few books about it? Yeah, he wrote two books about it. This is one of the most well-documented treasure discoveries in history. Ever since I started working in the pond business, I've wanted sucking treasure. And this is the mother load. You know, everything's the real deal here. It's, yeah. You know, they're authentic coins. They're not cast. They're definitely stamped. How much do you want for it? I'd like to get 700000 for it. I really, really want this. I mean, this thing is truly incredible. But tying up three quarters of a million dollars in one item, it could bankrupt this shop. I want to give you 200 grand for it. 200? Yeah. I got to hold out for more. But uh, hey, thanks very much. Sorry for new business. I mean, you just, you just got to look at it from my perspective, yep. and it's a lot of damn money. <laughs> that it is. I'm a little bit relieved, because if I had to tell the old man I shelled out a quarter of a million dollars, he would have kicked my ass. What we got here? Uh, I got a gold bar I want you to look at. What do you think, Pops? Um, it's gold. I mean, it looks like shipwreck stuff. I buy gold from people every day, but I never have gold bars from a shipwreck walking to my shop. Well, what you have is definitely coral incrustation. These particular stamps I recognize from the 1500s. This is definitely shipwreck treasure. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> so how much do you think it's worth? Milk times two is what you're talking about. Okay. What does that mean? Remember earlier when I said $24,000 in scrap? Yeah. Scrap is melt. It's just like a trade term. So you're telling me that's worth $48,000? In that neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. Thanks for coming in, Miller. My there's, pleasure. There's probably not a lot of people out there willing to buy this thing. But here's the deal. The people that are, are willing to spend a lot of money. Trust me. A lot.